Good afternoon from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in sunny Lauderdale by the Sea, Florida. This is Brian Kuzmar. Uh, just going to go over some uh, things that we talked about in the last video that you can check out on YouTube uh, about the XRF uh, X-ray, or commonly known as the X-ray machines, and about some of the misconceptions about this machine is uh, people feel that you can put a item on this machine and you can tell exactly what carat gold it is or what carat silver it is. Uh, this is not exactly true. This machine only shoots on the outside surfaces of the item that you're testing. And that is only like 10 microns, which is a few hairs, maybe not even a hair. I'm not quite sure about that. You can Google it if you'd like. Uh, but however, uh, this machine does not tell you what is inside of an item. And I'm going to give you a little example of this because what I told you I would do is I would show you a machine that does tell us that. What the XRF does, do, does tell us is the exact carat of the item on the outside. Uh, which is very important because uh, slight differences in carats uh, can mean a lot of differences in money for most people. So it's very important to know exactly what carat you have when you're looking at an item. But again, this does not tell you that the item is through and through gold or silver. And uh, here I'll show you quickly how we're going to do this. I'm going to take this item right here, which is the uh, gold maple leaf. Uh, and this is a real one. I know it's one of the items that we sell here. I'm going to put this on the XRF machine right here. and close the lid. So what I'll do is I will hit the trigger here and uh, what's going to pop up in this area is going to be the carrot of the maple leaf that I just stuck in the machine. So right now the x-ray device is acquiring the signal and you can see it's starting to pop up. And that's exactly what it should be. A maple leaf should be 24 carat gold and you're showing it here 99.79 percent. Remember these machines are accurate but they can still be off by my understanding 0.1 percent or something about or, or 1 percent variance. Uh, close enough though. So we're going to take that maple leaf out here and I'm going to take the maple leaf and, and let's just pretend that we don't know this is a real maple leaf. We just shot it on the x-ray. The x-ray shows that the surface of this is 24 karat but what if there's lead in it? What if there's tungsten? What if this is just a heavily gold-plated coin? Well, the x-ray machine is not going to show you this. We're going to move over to the specific gravity machine. This is something you probably remember in science class when you were a kid. This is just kind of an extravagant, more expensive version of that. Uh, and we're going to take this gold maple leaf. We're going to stick it inside this specific gravity machine. And of course, it should be around 31.15. Uh, and there we are. We're getting close to it. I'm going to hit the enter button. We're going to weigh it outside the water. As you can see, this is filled up with water here. It's got to be a purified water. And I hit the enter button, and we get 31.14 grams, as it should be. What I'm going to do is pull this gold coin out. I'm going to stick this in the water here. I'm going to let that zero out. I'm going to stick this maple leaf in this purified water down here. Try not to make a mess. And I'm going to let that weight settle down. As you see in the water, it's 29.55 grams. And I'm going to hit the enter button. And what we're going to see down here, it's going to tell me what's inside that item. And again, there might be a slight variance here, but this tells me what the x-ray machine will not tell me. This tells me what is inside this item and it's counting down. What do you see? 24 karat gold. So the x-ray machine tells me that the surface is 24 karat gold but it did not tell me that the inside of the item is 24 karat gold. The specific gravity machine does this. So you can't just have one of these machines and think that you know what you've got. And a lot of people and a lot of dealers and a lot of uh, people out there misconstrue what they own here. Uh, let me pull this maple leaf out. We're going to show you another item here. That's going to kind of hit home what I'm talking about or what I've just been talking about, the difference between the two machines. As you can see down here, I have a gold item. Uh, it's a metal and uh, a piece of jewelry or something. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this item right here. It's marked 12 karat gold. Actually, it's marked gold fill, but I'm going to give you an example of what the X-ray machine will show us. I'll put this on the X-ray machine here. Close the lid. We're going to pull the trigger, and if you take a look at the screen over here, you're going to see, hopefully, 
This is going to come out to 12 karat gold. Close enough, 11.8 karat gold. So, if you own this machine, and this is the only thing you own, and you, and you don't know what you're looking at, you're going to assume that this item is 11.8 or 12 karat gold, and it's not. Inside of it, it we're going to show you the difference here. I'm going to put this on the specific grabbing machine. And we'll weigh this again. In the dry, it's 8.4 grams. I'm going to hit the enter button. We're going to pull that off. And stick this in the water here. Close that lid. I'm going to let that settle down a little bit. And we're going to hit enter. It's going to count down here, and I'm hoping <laughs> what we're going to see is that this item is really not gold. Take a few minutes here. And anyway, while this is going on here, we, we do this for our customers for free at Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. So if you ever have anything you want tested, we don't mind doing it. And as you can see, it says low gold, low gold, um, which means it's not gold, basically, or very extremely low content, maybe 1 or 2%. And basically what it's reading up here is just, again, the little bit of gold they put in there to give it the appearance of being gold. But as you could tell, the x-ray machine shows it as being 12 karat gold. This machine basically shows it really has no gold in it at all. Uh, and again, big difference between the two machines. Uh, that's it for our little lesson on uh, 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 XRF machines and uh, specific gravity machines and why they are so different, but they both need to be together and they, they, they work together. Uh, again, if you need anything tested, uh, feel free to call us. We're here 10 to 4, Mondays through Fridays. Happy to look at stuff for you. As well as be assured that everything we buy and sell, we test ourselves. So before you buy anything from us, be assured that we have already tested it, we know what the product is, and you will never have to worry about getting a bad product. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, this is Brian Kuzmar, Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. Have a great day.